What is going on YouTube world? I am your brother Reza and this is KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. And I'm using my inside voice today because it's our first time camping in 2021 and it's so nice and peaceful and serene. And I'm gonna do an overlay right now of the beautiful view that we have because we got the perfect camping spot. And I figured this would be a great time to finally do a review that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, which is the Adidas Free Hiker Terex Gore-Tex sneaker boots or whatever you want to call them coming up right next right next right next <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i'll leave that too all right so um the adidas free hiker terex gore-tex 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 <laughs> boots i've been wanting to review these boots for quite some time i've had these since last fall roughly but because this is a uh, sneaker or hiking boot or whatever you want to call it, that I feel like people are going to actually use outdoors, you know, doing hiking and camping and other activities. I wanted to actually use them properly first before I just review them like other sneaker reviews. So what do I think about these? Um, as far as, let's, let's start off with aesthetics and looks. Aesthetics and looks on these things are both amazing and awesome. Before I had these, I had the uh, Salewa, what, I can't remember what they were called, Salewa Gore-Tex boots. Um, they were awesome, they looked awesome, and they lasted me years. But eventually the material started to break down and they started to like pretty much just fall apart and they did it on a camping trip. So after that, I was on a journey to find a uh, replacement boot for that for quite some time. And I went with the North Face uh, Lifty, I think it's called Thermoball Lifty boot. Yeah. And that was a I boot, but it ended up turning into a work boot for me because I didn't like the styling of it. And it was like too hot. It didn't breathe very good. And yeah, it just really didn't work for what I use it for. So then I stumbled upon uh, the Nike. What were those two Nikes that I used? I can't remember. There was two Nikes that I was in love with last year. Um, God, I can't think of the name of it. I'm going to overlay whatever it was called yeah, right here. Yeah, I can't here. remember. Come up the, uh, with but I love those Nike Gore-Texes, but they were just a bit too hard to put on. Like, the way that the top was designed was kind of terrible. Too narrow. Too narrow. And um, so, yeah, after that, I sold both of those, and I discovered that Adidas was making these right here. And these are the Adidas Free Hiker Terex and Gore-Tex, both of them. One of them is the actual cold weather version, and another one is the normal, I guess, uh, summer, spring, fall version. But this is the one that you wanna go for when it's like really, really properly cold. So what do I think about these? All right, well, aesthetically, like I said, they hit a home run because this is a hiking boot that doesn't really look like a proper hiking boot. And that was one thing that I wanted. I didn't want like the traditional brown leather, Danner, hiking boot that just looks like I just crawled out of the woods. I wanted something that could kind of assimilate in the city as well. And I wouldn't look crazy if I wore it to the office so I could get the maximum amount of use. Fashionable. You wanted a fashionable hiking boot. I just wanted something that I could get the maximum <laughs> amount of use for with the minimal amount of stuff, yeah. which is why I didn't go with the, your traditional brown heavy duty hiking boot. Even though I like those heavy duty hiking boots, not they don't really work too good in the city. And it becomes apparent when you walk in the city, yeah. actually. In the, it definitely you, looks like you just crawl out of the woods, which happens to us all the time, especially with mine. Yeah. If we go to the store, you can tell where I came from. Yes. So that's why I went with the boot like this. Now, these boots, especially this one over here to the left, I feel like the aesthetics are perfect for what I just mentioned. Uh, the sizing, they kind of run true to size, but I've seen, I have seen—I find that they run a little large, and I don't know if that's to accommodate for like uh, thicker hiking socks and stuff like that, which it probably is, because right now, this one right here to your left is a size eight, and this one right here, well, to my left, but to y'all's right, and then this one right here is a size eight and a half. Now, this eight fits, but it fits a little snug, especially with really thick uh, hiking socks on, like I'm wearing right now, my darn tough socks, and um, it's kind of tight but it's not the end of the world. With these, it's almost perfect, but it's a little bit too hot in these, and we're gonna talk about that later. So the sizing is pretty spot on, but I do find that this um, stretching material can kind of feel very constricting if you're doing something like driving in them. If you're walking around and actually hiking and you know working and setting up camp, you don't really notice it, but the second that you sit down, you kind of be like, oh, this feels kind of snug around the top of my foot. And I'm not talking about like the sole and the bottom area or the toe box but right here across the top of the shoe is where they kind of feel tight to me. And I've noticed that with both shoes and more so with this one. With this one across the top, when you zip it up, 
it's so tight that I really don't feel comfortable when I drive this boot. So what I'll do is I'll either zip it all the way open when I'm driving a car with it or I'll just completely take them off because driving in these is, um, yeah, it's, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. And it's even more so when you have a boot on, a more traditional boot like the one that Kat is wearing. Because mm -hmm. mine has super ankle support. Maybe that's what it's for. Maybe it's more it's, ankle yeah. support because it's hiking boot. Yeah. But when you try to drive in these hiking boots, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. And I guess you shouldn't be driving in a in a hiking boot. No, this but... thing like will cut off my circulation and my foot will go numb. And if you see it, like I didn't actually use these two pieces right now on purpose. So mm -hmm. I don't get that. But yeah, so stiffness and all that kind of stuff is a big thing that comes into play with these hiking boots. And I guess that's kind of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But this one is pretty darn stiff, more like a traditional boot. This one is definitely more like a, a traditional just sneaker that just happens to be ruggedized. I guess that's a good way to put it. This is a ruggedized sneaker. Mm -hmm. It's very lightweight relative to like my Saleo boots and what relative to these Garmont boots that um, Kat is wearing. Mm -hmm. And um, the sole is actually, because it's the boost sole, is very very boosty and everybody by now knows what a boost sole feels like it feels like you're walking on a cloud made out of heaven and both of these literally feel the same way and you really do notice that when you're hiking or walking through the woods and doing stuff it just you know gives you that boost feeling now as soon as you sit down that's when these really like i said don't feel as comfortable as when you're moving around in my honest opinion um, going back to the boost sole, I feel like the white on the bottom of this one is kind of not the best choice because, you know, boost soles, they kind of tend to yellow as they age. And aesthetically, it just doesn't look that great as it, you know, becomes an older boot. This one right here with the black boost sole, I actually like this a lot. And I feel like I'll be able to, uh, you know, pull off a couple more years with this one because it'll just look a lot better and cleaner as the boot ages. So I definitely like the black boost on this one. I like the choice of colors on this with the bright orange interior. And um, yeah, the, just the styling all the way around looks really good. And the reflective bits, like some of this is a little reflective on both of these. They're not tremendously reflective, but they are a little reflective. So I do like that as well. Um, these are pretty easy to slide on and slide off when you're getting in and out of a tent. Um, I guess like, you know, when you're you know, trying to jump in and take your shoe or put your shoe off and put your shoe on to go run to the bathroom or whatever. Fast. And uh, it, it makes it a lot easier to use for a camping shoe, but you still got to kind of work with it to get your foot on, uh, to get your foot in there. But it's not as bad as like the Nike, whatever that shoe is called. Oh, the Antarctic. Yes. That's the name That's of it. The, the Nike word. Antarctic. Yeah. It's not as bad as that, but you still got to put a little work in to get your foot in there. But it is like, you know, once again, it's not like trying to lace up a more traditional hiking yeah, boot to go use the bathroom. Yeah, going to take a second. <laughs> um, so I talked about the lacing. I talked about the comfort. I talked about the sizing a little bit. Like I said, it's eight and a half. It's uh, pretty true to size. I feel like they do run a little big, So, but this eight and a half right here is you know, pretty spot on with me, especially with really thick socks, which is what I would be using when using this pair of boots because it is the cold winter version. Now, this one right here, this year in Georgia, it honestly has not gotten cold enough for me to mm -hmm. properly test these. Yeah, we even, yeah, we even, I even took these to North Carolina when we went skiing and walked on snow in these and they were really, they had lots of grip on snow, but even on snow, like it just, like these were so warm and cozy and breathable, mind you, that I haven't honestly been able to put these through the ringer properly to see how much, like, you know, they can really take in the cold. But I did notice these versus my um, North Face boots when the north face boot when your foot is in there for a long time and your foot starts to sweat and get hot and cold and hot and cold being by a campfire and then walking away from it once that sweat gets into your socks even if you have really good wool socks on your foot is going to get cold because that sweat doesn't get out and escape and that's the, my main problem with those north face lifty boots this one on the other hand breathes really good and i have not experienced that same cold clammy foot feeling in these uh boots i feel like whatever type of gore-tex they used was a very very good breathable type of gore-tex for this uh actual usage in this boot so i haven't experienced the clamminess in this but i also haven't taken these to like super super cold weather uh, places yet like i would love to take these to iceland that would be the perfect test. that would be a good test yeah but um yeah other than that I am very, very happy with these boots. Do I still miss my Saleva boots? I do still miss them, yes, because the main thing, my main issue with these boots is that across the top of your foot, I feel like they are too tight on both of them. Um, it's not the end of the world, but depending on your foot style, you know, or foot shape, 
<laughs> it could be kind of uncomfortable for you. It's a little uncomfortable for me, but it's not, you know, bad enough for me to say, oh, I don't like these boots. I love these boots, minus that one thing. And um, yeah. That's probably because these are still manufactured by the sport goods company, you know what I mean? Yeah. Versus the proper, like, camping, hiking company. Yeah, So that is true. So that's my just general thoughts and observations after using these for about four months or four, probably about five months each. Uh, we are KRT Life, KRT Life with Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that kind of stuff. I think this is a great, either one of these would be a great buy. I don't know if you can get these right now, but these you definitely can get. They're a little pricey, $200, but I think you will be very happy if you get them. Definitely try them on first before you go out and buy them for sure. And that's with any hiking book. You want, you want hiking book? What am I talking about? Hiking boot, because you definitely want to see if it is a boot that makes your foot happy before you purchase it and take it out on the trail. Unless you buy it from REI, where you can just take it back anytime. That's true. All right, so one thing that I failed to mention about these shoes is my traditional Gore-Tex hiking boot submersion test. I literally do that on all of my videos, but I haven't done it on this one. One of his favorite things and he completely forgot to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, when we get home, I'm going to uh, add this to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys stick around that long. And I'm going to uh, submerge both of these with my feet in them and see how dry my feet stay now i have worn these both in the rain and snow and stuff like that and my feet have stayed very dry but the submersion test is always the true the ultimate test. test so that's coming up all right so this is uh the part of the view that i forgot to do that i always do and that is the drop test where i will dunk test where i dump the uh shoes in the water and one last thing that i forgot to mention because there's a lot of background noise now because i'm in the city is that the continental sole uh outsole on these massively grippy great in the wet great in the rain so uh before it starts raining too hard let me go ahead and submerge my uh shoes and uh see if they hold out the uh water now one thing i wanted to mention as well is that the gore-tex lining inside these boots i don't believe they go all the way up here i believe they kind of stop right around this area so i'm gonna stop submerging them right about over the toe box and we'll see what happens wish me luck hopefully my feet don't get wet all right so here we go Here's the first pair. Yep, y'all can see it. And I'm gonna go all the way in the toe box in the water. Probably like around to yeah, about like here. This is good. And uh, I don't feel any leaks. So <laughs> that is good. So I'll try the next pair now. And uh, yeah, hopefully they should stay just as dry. All right, this one time we are going to be trying the cold weather version and uh, I don't trust this uh, zipper, so we're not gonna go past the zipper, but we're gonna go all the way up to the zipper. So here we go, step on in. And uh, yeah, stand for a minute, wiggle my toes around. I'm actually really super impressed with these uh, boots. They actually seem better than the uh, Nike Antarctics that I actually had last year. And I mean, the way that these just beat water off, I don't even know if there's DWR on this part. There has to be something on there. But I mean, the water just rolls right off of these boots. And a couple times I got the water up past the zipper and still I didn't have any water intrusion. As you can see, I still had the boots on my feet. If, if I would've gotten wet, I would've taken them off by now. And these, I mean, I went up to at least like right here and uh, this like, I guess like the second eyelet uh, for the lacing. And once again with these, no issues with water intrusion, uh, feet stay dry. And uh, yeah, so I'm very happy with both of these boots. These boots are massively grippy with, even when wet with the continental outsole. And uh, yeah, I really, really like these boots a lot. Especially have to try them in water because I've never like stepped in water this deep with them on. So two thumbs up. I think you'll like these if you get them, especially for hiking and outdoor type stuff. KRT Life, KRT Life with Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope this uh, video helps you make a decision for a spring, summer, winter, all season hiking boot. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.